Not sure how to use VLOOKUP in LibreOffice Calc? The vertical lookup function helps you to look up values from another table and populate the information quickly. Hi, it's Michael with Office Nifty. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up the VLOOKUP formula and how it can save you a lot of time populating the correct values for you quickly and accurately. Now let's take a look at example spreadsheet and show how we would use the VLOOKUP function for what we want to do here. On the left side of this spreadsheet, I have just some sample customer information that I made up myself. And we have the customer's email address, product that they purchased, also the purchase date, and then here we see, I just want to get, let's say some information for just a short few customers. Let's go ahead and look up their, let's say their email address. So instead of just the old fashioned way of looking at the person's name and then trying to find where that person is from the data set in a table here to find the email address and then copy and paste it to the cell that we wanted. We can go ahead and let the VLOOKUP function do that for us. I'll go ahead and just start typing in the formula. So we have the equal sign VLOOKUP and we see already that there's a little pop-up that helps to explain the function. Here it says a vertical search and reference to indicated cells. I'll go ahead and finish typing. After typing the parenthesis, it gave me a little more information that mentions search criterion, array, index, sorted range lookup. So I'll go through what each of these means in a brief way in this example. For the search criterion, essentially what I want to look up is the person's name. So I can go ahead and click on Christian Roldan here. The Calc spreadsheet went ahead and populated the cell F3 for me we can see there's F3. I'll go ahead and press comma, and then moved on to the next item in the formula, which it's looking for an array. So what the array is, essentially, I want to go ahead and select the table with the data set that I wanted to look up and find the information from. So obviously, my data here is towards the left. I can go ahead, click and drag, starting from the top, left to the bottom right of the table here. and we see that calc went ahead and populated we see here for, uh, cell a3 colon d26 so essentially uh, a3 is over here and d26 is all the way down on the bottom and this is the selection that i want to go with i'll go ahead now move on I'll press comma so we see now that it's asking me for an index here in a tooltip pop-up. So we see here now that it's asking for an index. An index is essentially a column number from the table array that I've chosen from where I want it to return the value. In this example, because I want the email address, and the email address is on the second column here from the source table. So I'll go ahead and press 2, and then I'll move on and press comma. And now it's looking for sorted range lookup value of either 0 or 1, representing false or true. By default, it will be a 1 if I didn't put a value. But I actually want 0. The way I think of it is, is the table sorted alphabetically? If it is sorted, then we can go ahead and put a 1. However, I advise to typically use zero because zero will give you a better result for exact matching. And I could show you a little more about that later when we get to it. So here I just ended with a zero. And there we go. So we see that the VLOOKUP function populated the email address for me and then put it in into cell G3 as ChristianR at Outlook.com. Now I can go ahead and essentially use the same formula and copy it down in this email column in order to populate the rest of the values. So here I'll go ahead and just copy, I'm pressing Control C on the keyboard. I'll paste the formula down and I'll 
can go ahead and do it for the rest of these. Now one thing we notice is that here in cell G6 it has not applicable value. And the reason is because if we take a look at the name Becky Sauerbrunn, it actually doesn't exist in the table here. It's because I typed it wrong. Here in the source table, the last name Sauerbrunn actually has two ends to it. If all I do is fix it, make sure it's typed correctly, then the VLOOKUP was able to find the email address correctly. So that's the benefit of making sure that in our formula, we always use zero for this value, the sorted range lookup. Now, one thing I wanted to bring to your attention is when we take a look at the formula, remember that I had copy and pasted down these cells. And one thing to note is the formula itself changes. If you notice here, the array, it actually changed from A4 to D27. Whereas my original formula is from A3 to D26. You can see the, the only difference is, be, is that the cell row number was incremented by calc itself. And this is behavior sometimes I don't want. The reason is that it changes the reference table array. I actually wanted to keep it the same from A3 to D26 all of the time. For example, I could show you what I mean. Here I click on a cell, if I press F2, it shows me the formula and actually highlights the area of the table source. And we see that it's missing row three, which is not the desired effect. If I take a look further down, again, press F2, we can see that it's using A8 to D31, and so it's missing even more rows for the VLOOKUP, which is not what I want at all. So the way to fix this issue is force calc to keep the row values same, even if I'm copying and pasting the formula. So let's go back to the original formula. And the trick is simply to essentially force it to remain the same by typing in the dollar sign before the row number. So here I have a dollar sign three colon d dollar sign 26. Go ahead and press enter. So the VLOOKUP function still works the same, except now when I go ahead and copy and paste the formula down, it kept the row numbers the same for me. And if I go ahead and press F2, we see now, yes, it kept row three for me and then it ended in the correct row for me as well. So that was the fix. I'll go ahead and paste the formula down. And if we just take a look at the formula bar, we see that the array is stays the same. The only thing that changes is just the first cell. And so now it's working as intended. And do just a quick second example, and that will be pretty much the end of the tutorial. Let's say now I wanted to also look up the purchase date. So I'll go ahead and type in a date. And auto size is a column. Because I already have a formula here, I'll be lazy and I'll go ahead and copy and paste. We see now this is not a date. This is the product that they purchased. The reason is because when I copy and paste the formula, it kept the index value of two for me. We see that they actually changed the formula a little bit for me. And we expected that behavior because Calc likes to either increment the rows or add to the column index whenever I copy and paste them. So that's more unintended behavior for what I'm looking for. All I have to do is go ahead and fix the formula to make sure it's targeting the right cells and arrays that I wanted. Well, I actually want to have it look up F3 and the table array actually, I wanted to go back to A and then B and let's look to see what that gives us. So here we see, okay, it's actually the same formula as what we have for the email. The reason is because I didn't change the index. I should now have it give us back index four for the date. So now we see there is this strange value, which doesn't match the date format. So what we would need to do, go ahead and change the format specifically. Going into format cells. I want to make sure that this is a date and okay. There you go. 
So now I can go ahead and copy and paste the formula again down this column. So I copy, go ahead and just paste, and there we have it. We can go ahead and take a look at the formula to make sure that it stayed the same or it's still working as I intended, making sure that nothing is off. So just having a quick inspection. And so now we're done. We have the information that we wanted using VLOOKUP and it goes a lot faster and a lot smoother the more you try it out and use it over and over but it really does save a lot of time and it makes sure that everything is accurate. Sometimes when I'm manually entering data perhaps I typed in a number wrong or a letter wrong and that could affect the data integrity a lot. Calc does it for you and it uses the values, everything is exact, and I get my result quickly and easily. If you have any questions about VLOOKUP or would like to learn how else to use LibreOffice Calc, please check the video description below for more information and leave a comment. I plan on posting videos weekly to help people make the most out of this amazing free software. Thank you for watching and stay nifty.